Roger, that's all well understood. Uh, all positions off to watch. Uh, Shoal 2, correction 6, 0, 3. <laughs> well, recently, of course, Mediterranean uh, as part of the op wheel. Then move yeah. blue green, and then move to the green operation. So here on board at the moment I've got a ship's company of approximately 350. As it stands at the moment I've got about uh, 200 Royal Marines and additional forces embarked. Um, at the start of what is going to be a long autumn and winter of exercises to, to make sure that we are fully ready for any eventuality that uh, might come our way. Well this is a real valuable opportunity for NATO. NATO quite frankly has been focused on Afghanistan, rightly so, for the last decade or so. But we, in the maritime environment, are very used to operating with our, our NATO partners. When I was in the Mediterranean earlier this year, the reason that I could operate so easily with my Italian and uh, German counterparts is because we are very used to training, communicating, working together at sea. The main aim for uh, HMS Bulwark and for the Royal Navy is, um, is to act as a bit of a proving ground. Next year, uh, we as the UK take command of the NATO Response Force. Therefore, we've got to prove that we can operate at, um, at high readiness across a very large scale, interoperate with, um, with other navies, with other nations, uh, and deal with any eventuality that, um, that um, global activities might throw at us. So it's a very significant exercise. Assault force movements on the outside. 